What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's show I'm going to talk about 5 gigabit multi-gig Ethernet. So what is 5 gigabit Ethernet, and why should you care? Well if you go back about 20 or so years, fast Ethernet was the standard in most homes and businesses. And fast Ethernet could go up to a whopping 100 megabits per second. Now even just a crappy Wi-Fi router can far exceed that, especially on the 5 gigahertz spectrum. What is becoming more of the norm today is most systems, routers and switches are all gigabit. However, with Wi-Fi 6 becoming the next generation of Wi-Fi implementation, Wi-Fi 6 to be able to achieve speeds faster than gigabit over the air is going to require 2.5 gigabit or faster. So as new products come out that are Wi-Fi 6 access points in the enterprise, you'll notice that most of them are 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. Now when looking at some of the newer devices coming out for consumers, such as QNAP has a 2.5 gigabit switch that you could conveniently also purchase one of their USB 5 gigabit adapters to be able to run 2.5 gigabit. Yes, I said purchase a 5 gigabit adapter to run at 2.5 gigabit. Why would you want this? Well, because it's faster than just standard gigabit. Now, to be able to run at speeds faster than gigabit, every component has to be able to support the speed as well as not introduce any other bottlenecks. And what I mean by that is that Let's say, for example, you have a NAS that runs with 5 gigabit, and then you have a multi-gig switch supporting all the way up to 10 gig over RJ45, and your computer is connected to that switch at 10 gigabit, and the NAS only has a 5 gigabit connection. So then the bottleneck then becomes 5 gigabit. Now this is a theoretical bottleneck because the next area that speed is going to be challenged at is the disk subsystem. And what I mean by that is that if you have a standard solid state disk that is just a SATA-based SSD, then it's going to peak out at around 500, 550 megabyte read and write per second. However, it will only be able to sustain those speeds for a limited amount of time until the cache fills up and then the speeds will decrease substantially. So, what do you do about it? Well, you can either run drives in RAID or you can purchase a higher end SSD such as a NVMe SSD, but again, after 15, 18 gigabytes of data transfer, then you're going to see the speeds plummet substantially because the cache just can't keep up. But if you were looking to future-proof your home, both 2.5 gigabit and 5 gigabit will become the norm probably within the next four to six years. You will start to see more and more manufacturers releasing hardware just like QNAP has. Now Netgear does make some switches, although they are a bit pricey at the moment. But again, fast forward three to four years from now, and you're probably going to see them at about half the price that you currently see them on the market for today. Now when looking at my cable modem, which is a DOCSIS 3.1 ARIS SB8200, that has two gigabit ports on the back. Now only one of those ports can actually be used for the internet. However, if and when the ISP supports multi-gigabit over coaxial, then you will be able to take those two gigabit connections and put them in a link aggregation mode, or lag, provided that you have a router that can support that. Now this modem is just a regular consumer device, so that should still give you a little bit of foresight into the future as far as if things are starting to come out now supporting multi-gigabit, there's more to come around the corner. Now I could be completely wrong about this, but personally I don't care because I run mostly enterprise gear at home anyways, so I've got the speed and I got the throughput and I've got the disk subsystems. But for performance enthusiasts who want to be able to go ahead and just have the fastest speeds possible to have the lowest latency, then I really do think that in the near future we will be starting to see a lot more hardware that supports these requirements. Well that's it for today's show. Uh, again, if you like this, go ahead and slap that like button. And again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and then tap the little bell icon and select your preferences for how often you want to be notified. Hopefully the more the better. I don't put out a lot of content, so hopefully you'll like it all. Since I found this, cleaning up my office to go ahead and make this video, I don't use it. So I don't know if it is still in working condition or not, but if you want it, or you can use some of it or use it for parts or whatnot, then go ahead and let me know. Uh, shoot me an email at brad at shinytechthings.com with a subject line of, hey, I'd like that router for free, please. <laughs>